Hello and welcome to the Taxtron Web Tutorial Video Series. Today, we are going to explore the process of claiming Uber or Lyft expenses on your taxes in Canada. As you may know, the Canada Revenue Agency requires that you file income tax each year. However, when you drive with Uber or Lyft, income tax is not deducted from your earnings throughout the year. It's your responsibility to pay your income tax at tax time. Let's dive into how to report Uber or Lyft expenses using Taxtron Web. Start by logging into your Taxtron Web account. Once you have logged in, navigate to an existing client and open a new return. Fill out the necessary personal information under the identification section. Next, navigate to the income section from the left navigation bar. Here, you will answer yes to the question, did you receive self-employment or rental income? and click Next. From the left navigation bar, locate the Business and Rental Statements section. Within this section, navigate to the Self-Employment Profile and click on the icon labeled Uber or Lyft Income and Expenses. Once clicked, proceed to the next step. On the subsequent page, you will be prompted to report the business period, which should fall within the tax year period. For instance, in this example, you would report the business period from January 1, 2023, to December 31, 2023. Ensure to answer yes to the question, is your business address the same as your home address? If you have a GST number, respond affirmatively to the question, are you a GST or HST registrant, and enter it in the correct field provided. Next, you will encounter two questions, do you have income and expenses for Uber? or, do you have income and expenses for Lyft? Select the appropriate option based on your condition. In this example, we are focusing on reporting Uber expenses, so choose the option Uber and click Next to continue. You will then land on a page titled Uber Income and Expenses. Here, you will detail all applicable income and expenses provided to you in the tax summary from Uber. For illustration purposes, let's consider the following breakdown of income and expenses. Once you've entered the Uber income and expenses, you may have additional income breakdowns and deductions to report, report them in the designated section. For example, referral or incentives, $6.75, miscellaneous, $5.25, GST or HST collected, $0.88. Cents. Next, it's important to report deductions under the appropriate section. If you have expenses or payments that can be deducted from your income, so, service fee paid, $2,230.95, GST or HST paid, $536.41, miscellaneous deductions, $2,003. Furthermore, you must report trip related information, trip mileage, 6274. Online mileage, 12,137. Once you have provided all the necessary details, click Next to proceed. On the subsequent page titled Other Expenses, you can claim additional expenses such as professional fees, telephone-related expenses, etc. For example, if you pay a $62.75 monthly telephone bill, totaling $809.40 for the year, attach a schedule to support your claim. After entering your Uber income and expenses, you will land on the Statement of Motor Vehicle Expenses page. Here, you can claim any vehicle-related expenses. Start by specifying the model or name of your vehicle. If applicable, select the appropriate depreciation class and report the total kilometers driven in a year, along with the total kilometers driven for business purposes. For example, in this scenario, report a total of 100 kilometers driven in a year, out of which 50 kilometers were driven for business purposes. At the bottom of the page, you can claim expenses such as fuel maintenance and insurance for example, if your expenses total $1,256.63 for fuel and $4,138.78 for insurance, enter these amounts accordingly. Once all vehicle-related expenses are entered, click Next to proceed to the GST or HST return section.
The GST or HST return page will automatically calculate based on the information provided in previous entries. Review the calculated values and ensure accuracy. If you have any additional information to report, you can do so before finalizing. After completing the reporting of Uber income and expenses, you can print the record keeping Uber or Lyft income expenses form for verification. You can print the record keeping Uber or Lyft income expenses form directly from Taxtron Web. This document will include a detailed breakdown of your income and expenses, providing you with a comprehensive overview. Additionally, the GST or HST return will be included in the documents. You will find that all required calculations for GST or HST return are already completed for you. You can utilize the calculated values to file your return via your CRA business account or through a representative client account. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.